Hi, hello, welcome back to the Digital Under channel. Today, we will learn about Caterpillar ECMs, how to power up on the test bench. So for that, we require external harness to power up the ECM. So, we will make this harness for different ECMs to power up and to check the ECMs as well we check the engines before mounting on the machinery uh, after repairs of the engines so there is a power cable and a battery positive cable and negative cable and there is a safety device 5 amps fuse and uh, key start switch and cat ET cable to connect the cat ET cable it is a connector there is a connector okay and uh, so we made it for different ECMs and uh, Adam 2 Adam 3 Adam 4 ECMs so each ECM has a different uh, number of pins um, for battery power and uh, ground so this is J1 connector and uh, this is J2 as you know well first of all we will check uh, how many pins have battery positive and uh, how many have negative so pin number uh, 3 and 5 are battery negative pin number 4 and 6 pins are battery positive and uh, is there any keys and pin number 23 is a key on and cat data link data link low 3 pin pin number 3 is cat data link low and pin number 9 cat data link high so we will connect on j2 sorry j1 this is cat data link cat data link low pin number 3 and pin number 9 and battery positive pin number 4 and 6 battery negative pin number 11 pin number 5 Um, key start or key on pin number 23 mm, this is 23 okay so after that we'll give power okay so this is our key on Check again. Okay. Cat ET connected. Cat ET cable connected. Okay, this is I am communicating with Caterpillar ET. This is how Cat ET was showing our uh, 3412 engine. And this is I am so loaded. 773 dumper software so the same is the same engine was in uh, d10r 773 dumper also okay we can check uh, status okay 
So we can check all the parameters through status one, status group one to six. Okay. Um, this is for active codes. Totally seventeen active codes is there, which was inner pressure sensor, coolant temperature, actuation pressure sensor, like all the active codes due to. We didn't connect uh, J2 connector. J2 connector was engine, engine harness for uh, ECM outputs, for injectors, all the sensors and senders. And this is for uh, J1 connector. Mm, of this connector from uh, machine harness connector. We can say machine harness. So ECM inputs. This connector was ECM inputs. Okay. And log diagnostic codes. As all you know about CAT ET on the event codes configuration, P product status report. We can download product status report from here. Okay, on the ECM summary, whatever the data is there, we can download. So if you want to program the ECM, you can go utilities. In plus, so now I don't need to program the ECM. So, okay, guys, thank you.